This is the 21st video presentation for the Case Plant course. As you view this video, make notes of important information. Pause, repeat, and resume the video whenever necessary. What's in a name? Lesson 5.2 Plant Names. When you completed Activity 5.2.1, Dissecting a Name, you researched the meaning of several plant species Latin names. This presentation provides more information about how organisms are named and how these names are used in science. Taxonomists use nomenclature, the scientific naming of plants, to create scientific plant names. As you learned in Lesson 5.1, Sorting Out Plants, organisms are identified by their scientific name. Here is a classification for a type of maple tree using the scientific names. Common names create confusion among the scientific communities. Because research has not been done on all plants to determine potential value to humans, it is important to clearly identify each plant. Many species have different common names. The use of common names makes it difficult for people in the plant industry to determine the plant to use. If they have discovered a new plant and want to communicate with others in the plant industry, for example, the four plant names on this slide are the same plant. You can see how hard it would be to know exactly the plant that is being discussed as the names do not let you know a description of the plant. Another example is the crop we refer to as corn here in the U.S. What we call corn is called maize in other countries. The term corn may refer to wheat, oats, rye, or other cereal crops in other countries. Using Zia maize, the scientific name, decreases the confusion when scientists communicate. Scientific names are recognized throughout the scientific community. These names give clues about other species a plant is related to and describes other characteristics of the plant. The Swedish botanist Carolus Linnaeus developed the system where all plants were assigned a specific name based upon a two-name system called a binomial system. This system has been in place for over 200 years. The binomial system is a generic and species name of the plant. Plants of the same genus have characteristics that are similar to each other. Plants of the same species will reproduce plants of the same characteristics when bred. The main difference between a cultivar and a variety is how each was derived. A cultivar is genetically different subspecies caused by human cultivation. A cultivar name is typically written in the common language used by the plant developer, as shown here. A variety is a genetically different subspecies found in nature. The variety is typically a Latin term. Correctly written, the abbreviation VAR is not in italics, but the variety name is, as shown here. The genus name is typically a noun. When a species is newly discovered, the scientist is sometimes credited with the discovery, or the scientist may name the organism for a namesake of his or her choice, often presidents, monarch, and pop culture figures throughout history. A species name is often an adjective that describes the species. For example, a plant that is named Ceanothus microphylla has a little micro leaf phylla. A species name may also give credit to the discoverer. For example, botanist Thomas Drummond is thought to have discovered the annual phlox species. The species name became Phlox drummondii. 
prefixes and suffixes to genus and species names are also used to describe a plant. Activity 5.2.1, Dissecting a Name, will explore botanical names further. As a review, mark or highlight three key points in your notes that are important to remember from this presentation. List two ideas or concepts that relate to previous knowledge. List any questions you have about this topic. Discuss these questions with your instructor. Keep any notes you have from this presentation organized and available for use throughout this course. Through Project 5.2.2 Inventing a Plant, you will create a name, a fictitious plant using the binomial nomenclature system in order to understand how plants are named and classified. Your teacher will provide instructions and the rubric to be used for the new plant species you will invent and name.